In this section, we will look at reading and writing files using AstroPy. AstroPy provides a unified interface for input and output, supporting different formats and simplifying our lives for many common cases, such as FITS files, ASCII, VO tables, and so on. To start, let's look at the case of input and output of tabular data. Let's consider the case where you have tabular data saved in a common format, here a dat file. All you need is to import the table class and simply use the read function. Similarly, you can load tables directly from the web by specifying the URL. You can also export a table to a file using the write function. The IO package of AstroPy provides means to handle multiple different file formats, including images and tabular data. A common file format for images is the Flexible Image Transport System, or FITS file. It is a portable file standard widely used in astronomy. The astropy.io.fits package provides access to FITS files. Loading a FITS file can be done. Loading a FITS file can be done using the standard convention. A FITS file generally contains one or more header and data. Here we have an example of a FITS file containing four different HDUs. The header is stored as a dictionary, a key-value pair. This way, you can access information about individual header cards, just like you would with a usual Python dictionary. This is useful to access information about the data, the dimensions, the units, and so on. This can be used for further processing, visualization, and so on. Data is returned as a NumPy ND array. It can be accessed using the .data property. Once the data is loaded, we now have access to all the usual NumPy functionalities, such as shape, and so on. We can create a new FITS file using the .write2 function. To do so, we simply need a primary HDU and some data. 